All right, you've seen me do this many a time. So here we go. Just use your 18, take your, take your rotor. <laughs> yeah, take your rotor off. Um, pull your caliper, your caliper, but just go ahead and pull your mounting bracket with the caliper attached. Next, we gotta do our tie rod end. And then we're gonna go down the bottom. We're gonna pop our lower ball joint. Then we're gonna go ahead and take the whole steering knuckle off. It's the easiest way to do it. You pull your 21s here. And then you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna come up here, you gotta pull the disconnect your anti-skid because you're not gonna be able to do anything from there. And then just slide it off. You gotta get that clip. There's a clip uh clip back here. Get that. Pull that bearing out. So, of course, you got to pull your your uh, shaft shaft nut off. Okay, for a quick catch up here, it's an 18 nut. Slam on that with your maul, and it'll pop down. This is a 32 for your shaft nut. These are 21s. And it'll pop that down. Your back sides here are 18s. So there we are. That popped out. I gotta get the lower, which is an 18. And then drop the your sway bar, sway, uh, sway arm, control arm. And then pop these bolts, and I'll have the well, yeah, and then I gotta go back. <laughs> I gotta back up there and disconnect this. Hmm. Uh, all right, here we are. Okay, they could just remember that back side is a 15 if you're holding it, and then 18 on the front. I'm having a hard time because I've basically, I guess, rounded that one off. So here we are. That's disconnected. This is disconnected. Um, we'll drop it back, drop it down. I gotta pop those, those loose. You're gonna have a little bit of, um, You got a little bit of Angry Bird with this here. <laughs> I dropped that down. I want to flip forward. So, also remember that you're not putting your you're not putting your 21 on this side and trying to loosen the bolt. Okay, it has splines that go in there and lock. Okay, so <laughs> if you're in there trying to spin this sucker with your impact and it's not spinning, that's why. So you do it on this back on your on your nut only, and then just go ahead and pound them. Pound them through and you'll be good. Okay. Go ahead and use your long crowbar. Stick her in that hole and yank. Pull down on it and then bang on the outside here. Okay. Be careful because you can see I sealed this up because I whacked it here. And that uh, made me mad that day. Okay, just brought it down so I can do the anti-skid. Here's your, here's your plug for your anti-skid, right here. And then the other one, you can actually see the hole that, that actually goes through. That's easy. The other one here, you gotta pull out your whole air box to get to on the other side. Back up here, we gotta undo that, it's a 13. Undo this for a 13, and then we can pull the steering knuckle okay there we are we got her off uh, looks kind of dry in that thing huh. well restricted in there but now we gotta do is we'll have to gotta pop that pop the wheel hub off of here and back side of the wheel hub is a spring what are you doing you don't belong here yeah you and then we'll go ahead and uh that out get get the get the bearing tamer out It's in the other room. We'll get the use that and put this in the vise and we'll get going on it. Hopefully I can get that 
spring clip out of there. Well, central machinery again has paid paid for itself. Got it set up straight, and I poured some plaster in there. Pushing it out. We're good. That just pushed the hub out. Now I got to do the bearing. Like I said, on the other side of that bearing is a uh, clip. Unfortunately, every time you go to push that out, you're gonna you gotta tear up the bearing. So your bearing's done. A little persistence with it. Look, look what I got. Put that pushed in just by pounding on the other side here. Now I did a combination of the blaster in there. I don't need this thing off. The blaster in there. I also took the acetylene, uh, acetylene and I want to right around the edge here. And got it got it fairly hot. Put some more blaster in there. And then you're gonna use a flat right on the hooks here. Got lucky because the hooks are actually here. Um I've found a couple where the hooks aren't here. They're broke off. Somebody tried to get in there before. All right, now I just got to get something under here. And we'll go ahead and extract it out of there. Okay, now put your screwdriver under it like so. And then go ahead and pound on that. And that's going to bring it right out. All right, that wasn't too bad. She just sprung right on out of there. So it looks in good shape. We can reuse it. All right, so next step, we're going to go ahead and punch this out. Now we got to be careful of the and I skid here um, we don't want to mess that up um, problem is you're not gonna get it out <laughs> without without really destroying it so there we are now we're back on the press again lock down let's see if we can get it to press that pressure out. press out all right I was gonna have to get the tamer if I didn't get it to pop out there it goes. Almost. All right. Beautiful. we're happy all right here we go all right one bearing out of the steering knuckle and i didn't destroy it i remember one time i did i forgot to get this freaking spring clip out of here and i broke and i actually broke off i think it was this one of these broke off on me it's actually here somewhere i think Maybe it's up in my collection of metal, but it popped out. Well, it didn't pop out. It broke off and went flying off. It just went freaking crazy inside here. All right, so I would say, yes, this bearing is shot. So I can hear. Uh, yeah. Hold on for a second. Can you can you hear it? Hear that? There's nothing in there. No, it's not spinning. You hear it? See that? Even though the outside looks good. I don't know what it is about the inside bearing. This one's all right. But the inside bearing, you can hear it. 
to it. Freaking gone. Ooh. So there we are. It was our issue. All right, now the hard, now our next hard part. We got to get the <laughs> inner race off of the hub. I used the torch. I heated up that race. Just the race. Don't do anything else. Try and just heat up that race. And I used a small chisel to start with. Where is he? I used a small chisel to start with. And I was able to press down, get it behind it, and then pound it out. And I'm going to hit it again. I'll put some uh, blaster on it. And I'll hit it again. And then we just keep working around. Working around the outside of it. Let go. Hey, I got a bigger. I need a bigger freaking. But um, at this point here, I think I got enough room. I can put a uh, set of um, uh, pulley puller on it and get it the rest of the way out. All right. I found a big bolt that I can stick through there. With a nice big head. And then I've got this three, three le three legged puller, uh, pulley puller. So let's see if that'll pop that sucker off of there. Very sweet. Get my finger out of the way. <laughs> All right. I don't know if it'll clear the clear that nut though, or the bolt. Can it clear that? Oh, I think so. Hey, 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 beautiful. I'm going to have to keep that. There she is. It even came with the, it'll even come out with the nut. <laughs> it might be, jam it might be jammed on that nut head. What I'm going to do, now that I know I can use this for this, I'll just go ahead and shave off those. Shave off the lugs on it, and there we go. Beautiful, huh? All right, let's get the new bearing put back on. Well, unfortunately, I'm dead in the water because this is not a bearing. <laughs> it is a bearing, but it's not what I needed. Um, I forgot. I took, the, I took the other bearing back because I went ahead and... I got this from Wilberts. I got the whole spring and everything with the uh, with the steering knuckle and put it on. So, because when I was troubleshooting it the first time around for the noise, and I went down there and I freaking got another one, and I couldn't get the that spring that 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 spring uh, C clip off of it. So. That's why I went down to Wilberson, got the other one, and then we tra then we went ahead and trashed the ca uh, caliper, and I went and got the good. Um, I took one of the caliper sides off, and I believe it was this side here, and put it on here. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm in a dead spot. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing with the with this thing here. I think I'd take it right back down to advance and get a bearing. Stay tuned. Well, of course, I wasn't watching my battery use on my other phone. And of course, it died. So, this is where I left off on this bearing. I've got it all set up. I just need to go ahead and press it in. At this point, at this point double check to make sure your bearing is going in correctly with your anti-skid ring facing in. That... restriction on what I'm pulling in. 
got just oh man I don't know if I got a thread I don't even know if I got a thread <laughs> I ain't even got a thread nuts okay I don't have a thread yet grab one this thing all right so back out let's put a washer on it yes. A washer. Give me a washer. So I'm not worried about this back here. Alright. Okay, I think we're good. Gotta go in a little bit further. We gotta get the two months. Alright. Close we are. It's pretty close. Yeah. It's definitely not it. But probably would. Okay. But it's telling me right now just by putting this one in there that it is well gone close. Huh. It might even <laughs> It will compress. It will compress to go in there. I mean, yep, okay. She is there. All right, I don't need to worry about compressing anything. She is there. All right.
bolts and stuff and see it over the freaking of course he used that. Whoa! Don't forget that! <laughs> Alright, now find my freaking C clip. I locked across my screwdriver last I saw it. Come on. There you go. Right. Let's say some film. <laughs> I can find my freaking C clip. I said. I'm here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the put Mr. Uh, hub on. I only take it up to a certain point. taken up when I go ahead and torque up the, the hub. That looks good. Alright. Very nice. Ooh. How did that happen? Oh. Son of a gun. Oh. I can't freaking win. Somehow, somehow. Be lucky. I don't know. I have to wait. Somehow the freaking ring. Somehow the ring got caught and it ripped it. I don't know how. How would you do that? It's not going to be smooth. It's going to have a break in the ring. I'll be... There's a break in the ring. I'll bet. There is a break in the ring. I can't win. I can't win. I don't sound like you. I didn't notice the break earlier. I 
can't win. I cannot. Cannot, cannot, cannot! Alright, well, that's it for tonight. Um, it's it's together and it's the way it's done, but sometimes it just doesn't go the way you want it to. Alright, stay tuned.